Hey, Kyrie, how, how did it feel getting out there for the first time since the last time you were out there? Felt good. Felt good. Uh, just miss my teammates, miss the coaching staff. Uh, you know, just getting prepared with them in the morning or in the rising and then uh, carrying over to the game. Felt good. What do you think, I guess, is going to take for you guys to catch your stride as a unit and build that chemistry that you guys need to get? Uh, just trust what Jock has going on in terms of leading our, our coaching staff uh, and then us as players just going out there and having fun, um, not putting too much pressure on ourselves. Uh, but it felt good to get this game out of the way, and now we can move forward with the rest of the season. <clears throat> did, did you have any ever have any fears, doubts, whatever, that you would never get this chance to, that you guys wouldn't be able to work through this and get you back here to playing for the Nets again? Never had a doubt. Hey, Kyrie, um, there's a group of about 100 people outside uh, wearing the shirt of a group called Israel United in Christ, a group labeled as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Um, they were outside in support of you and handing out anti-Semitic literature on the plaza of people walking by. And I was wondering if I can get your reaction to that. I didn't see it. Uh, what happened? There was a group outside? There was a group outside, 100, possibly more, they were wearing a shirt uh, called Israel United in okay. Christ. Uh, they're a group labeled yeah, as a hate group a, by the I Southern think that's a conversation for uh, another day. I'm just here to focus on the game. Kyrie, but you, you've said this whole time that you didn't know what kind of like, what basically what kind of voice you had. And but if these are the people that are out here in your name, do, do you feel like you have, that's a consequence of what you've done? Uh, Again, I'm just here to focus on the game. Just wondering what you've seen from Ben in terms of his progression from when you were last on the court to now. Uh, he's just playing with a lot more confidence. Uh, you know, I was joking with some of the guys in the locker room. It's good to see us in shape where we're not huffing and puffing uh, after five straight possessions on the offensive end and defensive end. Um, and they just started laughing. Um, you know, because we know in the beginning of the season we weren't in the best shape possible, so we had to work our way into it. Guys coming back from injury, uh, so it feels good uh, when you could just flow into the game and, and just let it come to you, and then make your impact uh, by trusting the execution and the game plan. I guess wear on your condition at all, and do you have to kind of get back in the flow? With I mean, you saw me dribbling the ball out there. I mean, <laughs> the ball was just miraculously just going out of my hands. So uh, that's just some rust and. Um, you know, just getting back into NBA basketball. There, there's no way I can create NBA basketball when I'm just sitting at home with my friends as, as much as I want to compete with them, as much as I love it. It's just nothing like being out here. Kyrie, forgive me if you've been asked this already, but when you were suspended, there were a lot of players around the league. You know, Jalen Brown is one specifically that didn't like the way your suspension was handled. I'm just curious if you ever thought about filing a grievance or exploring those avenues at all. Uh, I got to leave that to my legal team um, and leave it to the, the warriors I have around me. I have some strong people, men and women around me that are going to do everything possible to make sure uh, that I'm protected and my family's protected and uh, we protect one another. So, um, you know, I'm sure some things will uh, be done in the future, uh, but there's no timetable on that right now. Hey, Kyrie, um, I know you said you just want to talk about the game, but, you know, this morning you talked about using, recognizing the platform you have, wanting to unify. Um, you're being asked about things that are being said in your name in reaction to the movie you promoted. I'm curious just, I guess, how do you go about deciding when's the time to use a platform and when's not, and when you decide you're gonna react and when you say it's one to hear to talk about basketball? Uh, I would like to be on a platform where I could uh, openly share how I feel without being harshly criticized or being labeled uh, or dealing with, um, you know, outside perceptions that have nothing to do with me. Um, again, I said this morning, I just wanna elaborate on just everyone getting to know who Kai is and who AI is and what I represent in my tribe. That's it.